Welcome back to EFT for this week's Euro Transfer Talk. We're well into the last month of the summer window, so let's get straight into all the biggest stories from the last seven days. We start where we've begun many a Euro Transfer Talk this summer, and that's at Barcelona. Despite their well-documented financial issues, the Catalan Giants have racked up a net spend of 130 million euros during this window, having brought in Jules Kunde, Robert Lewandowski and Rafinha for a combined 153 million, along with Andreas Christensen and Franck Kessier on freeze. The only money they've made is the 20 million euros they received from Aston Villa for Felipe Coutinho and the 3 million euros for Francisco Trincao, who has joined Sporting CP on loan for the campaign. Every other permanent departure, including Dani Alves, Ricky Puj and most recently backup goalkeeper Neto has been on a free, as the Blaugrana look to register new signings. But they are still some way off achieving that goal on the eve of the new La Liga campaign, with the wage bill they were so desperate to bring down has actually gone up over the last two months. So as they currently spend some 550 million euros a year on wages after their latest acquisitions, the club are still looking to offload a number of players before September the 1st. This list includes Martin Brathwaite, Miralem Pjanic and Samuel Mtiti, who have all fallen further down the pecking order this summer, while Serginho Dest has also been linked with a move to either Chelsea or Manchester United. Chelsea are also deliberating a move for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who only swapped Islington for Iberia at the start of the year, while Gerard Piquet has also been advised to leave by manager Xavi, although the 35-year-old seems content in his role as fifth-choice centre-back at the Camp Nou. Memphis Depay is also expected to depart after just a year at the club, after not being given a shirt number ahead of the new campaign. And then of course there is the ongoing Frankie de Jong saga, with the Dutchman steadfast in his stance to remain with Barca, despite his employers agreeing a deal with Manchester United. Chelsea are also trying to convince the 25-year-old to sign with them, the latest offer to their Spanish counterparts being 70 million euros plus Marcus Alonso. With it being known, the 31-year-old has already agreed personal terms for a move back to his homeland. So we anticipate an avalanche of activity at Barca as the clock ticks down, with them desperate to maintain their ability to compete despite the situation away from the pitch. La Liga commences this weekend and Barca open at home to Rio Vallecano. We wonder if they'll be able to officially register any of their five new signings ahead of the fixture. Now for a transfer that has just been completed. Valencia's Gonzalo Guedes was the subject of a £27.5 million bid from Wolves and the offer was accepted. He arrived at Molyneux yesterday and last night the Premier League outfit announced that the 25-year-old Portugal international had signed. This is a continuing a long trend of Valencia owner Peter Lim selling his club's best assets, with Ferran Torres, Dani Parejo and Joao Cancelo having all left the Mestalla in recent years. And what's more, Los Che are set to make a loss on their number 7, having splashed a club record £36 million to take him from PSG in 2018, after he spent a season on loan with the club in La Liga. Last season, the former Benfica youngster was the standout performer for an otherwise underwhelming Valencia side, who despite reaching the Copa del Rey final, finished 9th in La Liga, the fifth time in the last seven seasons they failed to crack the top eight, let alone qualify for Europe. Guedes netted 13 goals, including the winner over Atletico Madrid in the cup semi-final, and set up six more. Coming off the back of his highest ever single season goal tally, that brings him to 66 goal contributions in five years with the club, where he has often been shunted around the front line, appearing on the left wing most often, but also capable of playing on the other flank, as well as both behind the striker and up front as well. Last campaign, despite a top 10 finish, Bruno Large's Wolves scored just 38 goals in the Premier League, a figure that only the three relegated sides failed to top. Raul Jimenez topped the scoring charts with a paltry six goals across all competitions, but is currently sidelined with both a knee and groin injury, meaning they are in desperate need of attacking reinforcements. But is Gonzalo Guedes the right man to address those concerns, and what does selling him mean for Valencia this campaign? Give us your answers to both questions in the comments. Moving across to the Netherlands, where the future of one of the country's top talents is still yet to be decided. Cody Gakpo was the subject of interest in the earlier stages of the summer from Premier League sides Arsenal and Leeds United, but as we enter the new campaign, it looks like the winger could remain at PSV. However, after a strong start in the opening two games of the domestic season, Manchester United have now entered the race for the 23-year-old, who is said to be valued at €40 million. Euros. Eric Ten Hag has admired Gakpo for years, and there's no doubt the Dutch international is a far cheaper alternative to Anthony, whose last valuation stood at €80 million, Euros, with Ajax reluctance to sell the 22-year-old Brazilian. 
Gakpo, coming off 36 goal involvements in all competitions last season, opened the new campaign with a goal and two assists in a 5-3 victory over Ajax in the Johan Cruyff Schaal, Dutch football's traditional curtain raiser. He then backed this up with two more goals in a 4-1 dismantling of FC Emmen in the first round of this campaign's Eredivisie. But as it stands, only one club has actually made a move for Gakpo, who has been with PSV since 2007, and it's not anyone we've already mentioned. Premier League new boys Nottingham Forest, desperate for quality in their anticipated battle against relegation, have made an offer, according to Foot Mercato. But PSV remain reluctant to discuss Gakpo's future until their Champions League fate is decided later this month, with Ruud van Nistelrooy's side hosting Monaco in the third qualifying round tonight, ahead of a potential playoff clash in a couple of weeks. But once that's out of the way, expect the Cody Gakpo news to start heating up. Back to Spain now, as over the last 24 hours, Villarreal's Jeremy Pino has started to attract interest from Arsenal. The 19-year-old is seen as a star for the future by the Spanish side after progressing through the youth ranks, finding the net seven times during a breakout campaign across all competitions last term. But while Villarreal obviously want to keep hold of the young star, certain factors mean they may have to sell up. Beyond the money that could be on offer from Premier League clubs with Liverpool also circling, the Yellow Submarine want to re-sign Giovanni Lo Celso from Spurs on a permanent deal, and the only way they could afford that is by selling a player. And with Arsenal and Liverpool both already tabling 40 million euro offers for the Spanish international, according to Radio Castellón's Xavi Joquera, it looks like Pino could be the player on the move. The right-footed winger only signed a new deal last November, with a release clause believed to be 80 million euros. But Villarreal are reportedly open to saying yes, should a bid of 60 million make its way to El Madrigal. To date, Pino has made 77 appearances for the club, scoring just 14. Is such a large fee justified so early in his career? Let us know what you think down below. Up next, we head to PSG, who are closing in on the signing of Napoli midfielder Fabian Ruiz. The Spanish international sees his contract in Naples expire next summer, and the 26-year-old has no intention to renew his deal and remain with the Serie A outfit. And according to Football Italia, Ruiz has already agreed personal terms with the French champions, although the two clubs are still negotiating a fee. The asking price is set at 30 million euros, the same figure Napoli paid Real Betis to sign him back in 2018, but PSG's current offer maxes out at just 25 million. Ruiz is a key player at the Stadio Diego Armando Maradona, having made over 160 appearances in just four years with the club, so there's no doubt he'll be a big loss to Luciano Spalletti if he leaves. In recent weeks, we've brought to your attention the progress of RB Salzburg striker Benjamin Sesko. The latest on a conveyor belt of young talented forwards to lead the line at the Red Bull Talent Factory, the 19-year-old Slovenian international has started the campaign impressively. The likes of Bayern Munich, Man United and Newcastle have all considered a move before a 65 million euro price tag was placed firmly upon the 6 foot 4 marksman's head to ward off suitors making a move this window. But barely two weeks on from that and it looks like this saga has already been brought to an end, and surprise surprise it involves RB Leipzig. Salzburg have agreed terms with their Red Bull partners over the sale of Sesco in 12 months time, for what could be an extremely reasonable fee believed to be around 24 million euros, according to Sky Sport Germany reporter Florian Plettenberg. How much is one of Europe's elites going to pay for the prodigy in two years time? Let us know what you think and who might pay it down below. So that's all we have time for on this week's Euro Transfer Talk, but which of these moves are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to Euro Football Daily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.